Hey guys, today we have a mission on our hands. We have to send the space probe out of the solar system. That means we have to achieve the escape velocity of our solar system. So how should we go along on this mission? Let's find out. Escape velocity of an object is the velocity the spacecraft requires to overcome the object's gravitational field or the gravitational pull. If our spacecraft has velocity anything below the escape velocity, then our spacecraft will just fall back on the surface of that object. This is the simple equation to find escape velocity of any object. Here, g is the gravitational constant, m is the mass of the object we are calculating the escape velocity for, and r is the distance of our spacecraft from the object's center of mass. If we calculate our Earth's escape velocity, it turns out to be 11.2 km per second from the Earth's surface. This velocity can be achieved by our rockets alone, but we still have to overcome our sun's gravity to get out of the solar system. We cannot add more fuel and more thrust to the rocket, as this would just increase the mass of the rocket. We can ask for help from the planets in our solar system. Our gas giants like the Jupiter can give us a huge boost which we call as gravitational assist. So how does a gravitational assist work? We have to keep in mind the planet itself is moving around the sun. This motion of the planet around the sun helps the spacecrafts to get a huge boost in velocity because as the spacecraft approaches behind the planet, the planet as it is moving along in its orbit pulls on the spacecraft and this causes an exchange in momentum between the spacecraft and the planet. But as the planet is so huge compared to the spacecraft, there is no significant effect on the orbital speed of the planet. But as our spacecraft is very small compared to the planet, it receives a huge boost. The same effect can be inversed if you want to reduce the velocity of your spacecraft rather than approaching the planet from behind. If you approach the planet ahead in this direction of motion, then the spacecraft will lose its velocity, giving its velocity to the planet. The messenger mission which went to Mercury had to do several flyby of Venus so that it could slow down enough to get to Mercury. Now we know how to get the gravitational assist from the planet. The escape velocity of the sun itself is 607 km per second from its surface. But as we go further away from the surface, it decreases. At around Earth's orbit, it's about 42.1 km per second. So when we get out of the gravitational pull of Earth, we are moving around the sun at about 36 km per second. This velocity is because we had the initial velocity of the spacecraft which was later slowed down by the Earth's gravity and Earth's velocity around the sun which is 30 km per second. So now we are at some 36 km per second going towards Jupiter. But again, sun slows down the spacecraft and as we approach Jupiter, our velocity goes down to about 11 to 12 kilometers per second. So now let's calculate the escape velocity of the solar system from Jupiter's radius. It's about 18.5 kilometers per second. And as we do Jupiter flyby, it gives us a boost of 10 kilometers per second, which brings our spacecraft's velocity up to 21 kilometers per second and puts us on an escape trajectory. Obviously, the gravity assist that we get from Jupiter is huge, but it also depends on the altitude and the angle at what we approach Jupiter. As you can see from the data given here, closer we go to the Jupiter, the more velocity gets transferred to the spacecraft. This is actual data from the Voyager 2 mission. In the same mission, Voyager 2 visited Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Jupiter gave Voyager 2 the required velocity to escape the solar system, but we wanted to visit Saturn and other gas giant planets. Other gas giant planets also increased the velocity of the spacecraft, but at Neptune, as the scientists 
wanted to visit the largest moon of Neptune. We approached Neptune in a way that the velocity of the spacecraft decreased during the flyby. But it didn't matter because till then Voyager had received velocities way over the escape velocity of the solar system itself. You can clearly see in this graph the escape velocity line and the velocity that Voyager was at. So this is how we'll go about with our mission as well. Scientists at NASA had calculated about thousands of different trajectories before picking the one that Voyager took. If you want to find the escape velocity of any object, I'll put a link to the calculator. Please hit the bell icon, like this video, share this video with your friends. And as always, stay curious, stay awesome.